Hello and welcome. I'm really glad you joined me today for the body conditioning class. We'll be using weights today. I'll be using a small loop band. If you haven't got the small loop band, don't worry. I can give an option. You can do a tricep kickback with a weight. Okay, so all the other things you'll need, you'll need a mat, you'll need a bottle of water as well. We're going to be doing a 4-2-1. Four, four with weights, two with own body weight, one aerobic. That's a seven minute circuit in each one. Okay, so if you've got those things ready, just give yourself enough space to move about in and we shall get going with that warm up. I'm going to go and we're going to go in four, three, two, one. Okay, I'm going to do that march out, back in. Just that wide step. Make sure that the arms are going as well. Core is pulled in. Lovely, good. We're going to come over the top and over the top. Good, give me that reach. Rip cage down and in. A little bit of tension on the abs. Now sweep that across. Feel that like you're using your oblique to get that turn of the hip. Yeah, I've got four more. I'm going to do a squat and a knee lift. Squat, knee lift. Good, just one then the other. Lovely, good. Just give me that squat, knee lift. Good, now I'm just going to leave a little kick out the front. Feel like you're just kicking that out, you're getting that extension, you're going to not lie back, keep those abs pulled in, good, two, I'm going to do a step touch here, out and back, grab that air, pull it back, feel that squeeze between the shoulder blades, now bring that up and squeeze it back, lovely, good, up on your toes here, Give me that reach, all the way up and all the way around. Open out those ankles. Now bring those, knee, those uh, arms in, should I say arms in the other way. Lovely, good, and get me that stretch between the shoulder blades. Lovely, good. Little squeeze. Now I'm gonna go into a leg curl. Lovely, good, so just getting that leg curl. Still that squeeze between the shoulder blades. Shoulders working for you. Okay, bring it across. Feel that little bit of work on the pecs to get those arms going across. Good, wide spot here. Little lift up to the side. In that sumo squat. Lovely, good. One leg only. Feel that work over the waistband. Low on the other leg. Now the other side. Lift it up for me. Squeeze over the obliques there. Lovely, good. Little run in and out. The running that. Feel that that core is really helping you here. Okay, four, three, two, one, and well done, lovely, good. I'm going to get rid of that mat for the first one because we will be doing a little bit of a turn on it. Okay, so I have got my set of weights, and I'm going to go with a set of four weights. Lovely, good. So I'm going to do a squat and then a reach over my head. So a squat, up, reach over your head, a little bit of a tricep work down. I'm going to go 50 seconds on one side, 50 seconds on the other. I'm going to do that four times. Are we ready? Grab me that weight. Lovely, good. You've got the squat, the lift and turn, lift, tricep, Come back down, turn, lovely, good. So I am turning through one hip, like we did in that warm up, there and over the head. Keep strong with those weights, I've got four kilograms. We'll see how I go. Start high, then if you have to drop down, do. Yeah, we'll get that work done at the beginning there. Lovely, good, I'm turning one way each time. This is going to be really hard work by the time I finish that four minutes on those arms. My core really helping me keep straight. You've got a 10 second rest. Then we're going on the other side. Lovely, good. I'm going to drop down, turn. Lovely, good, drop. Turn. 
Feel that your back is nice and straight when you're down into that squat. Push up from that low position. So you're really using your glutes here. Up. Push it back. Lovely girls, we've got another 20 seconds left on here before we start this again. So keep focused. Lovely girls, your rib cage down and in. Get me that lift each time. A little bit of tricep work to get that lift up and over. Lovely, good. Rib cage down and in. Three, two, one. Are we ready to go again? Nice strong start. Feet just outside of hips. My zip and hollow on, my shoulders back and down. Weights on my chest, give me that squat, nice straight back, and then up and over, lovely, good, down, squeeze on that glute, to get that turn, feel there's a little bit of work here on your obliques, keep it nice and strong, lovely, good, feel that you can really use those weights, the zip and hollow on, lovely, good, Feel that effort, but getting stronger each time over the head. Three, two, one. Are we ready for our last 50 seconds of work doing this before we go on to just our own body weight. Lovely, good. Into my squat, up and turn, and over your head. Lovely, good. All the time. Belly button pulled into spine. My zip and hollow on. <clears throat> my rib cage low as I get that lift. Lovely, good. Up over the head. getting that turn. Good, here's your last 15 seconds on this exercise. So make each one strong. Lovely, good. Core pulled in. Last few seconds now. Three, two, one. Just my own body weight. <clears throat> okay, so this is why I wanted clear space so I can turn on it. I go down into my lunge. Lovely, good. So I turn. Whoop, into my lunge, keeping your balance. Turn the other way. Lovely, good. So again, a little bit of work there to be done on the balance. I just turn it around and I drop through. Lovely, good. Make sure that knee is right underneath the hip. Well done. Good for your concentration here as well. Getting that balance work done. Important, lovely good, important part of our fitness, being able to keep our balance. That's it, lovely good, and drop. Lovely good, ready for our second? Go at 50 seconds, just get into that mind frame. Remember to get that turn and that drop. So I suggest get the turn first and then get the drop. Lovely, good. Then come up. So just give yourself time. Get low on that squat for that, sorry, on that lunge for that lunge to work for you properly. Turn it and lunge it. Lovely, good. Drop down through. Core pulled in for me the whole time. I can feel it underneath my fingertips. My zip and hollow is on. My shoulder blades are pulled down. My belly button's pulled into my spine. We've got 15 seconds left before we've got our aerobic one. 50 seconds of aerobics. Okay, last few seconds here. Three, two, one. Good work, well done. I'm going to do just a jack here. Core pull down and in, nice and light and thick. Half jack or full jack, here we go. Up, lovely, good. And the more I pull my core in, the more effort I can put through my legs and my arms. So I can get that pull down 
So feel it on your lats as well. Lovely, good. So it is aerobic if you're doing the jump out, the full one. Good, nice soft landing. My heels are down each time I land. Here we go, 20 seconds left. Lovely, good. Good work, well done. We're down, we're in single figures now. Three, two, one. And good work, well done. Okay, next one, I'm grabbing my three. We're going straight to a curtsy. Go around, same arm to leg. In my curtsy, lift it over, knee comes up, foot goes back down, into your curtsy. Scoot over your head. Lovely, good. Good, I've gone with a three. If you feel me staying with your four, do. Or your heavy weight that you started with, up over your head. Lovely, good. Coming up. Again, it's about that balance, so you don't have to put that foot down until you get back to here. Lovely. <clears throat> Definitely over my midline. Makes my core work. Over. You can come straight up, or you can tap, and then tap again to go into your curtsy. Up to you. Lovely, good. Work on that arm. Getting it over my head. Three, two, one. Good work. Just changing it over. <clears throat> curtsy over your head. Come up, put that foot back down. Good, so I've done a little lift to get those two things together. I'm not leaning over on the other side when I do it. I come up nice and straight. I tap my foot back onto the floor here, and then I go again. So if you need to tap here and tap twice, that's okay, that's fine. Otherwise, up, outside of my thigh, working to get me up and out of that situation there. Lovely, good. Over your head, rib cage down and in, core pulled in. Well done. We're moving up. Next side. Here in your curtsy, back onto your original arm, over your head with your rib cage low, drop over your head. Lovely and up. So each time I'm tapping that foot back onto the floor to start my curtsy each time. Lovely, good. Up. If you want to go straight to your curtsy, you can. So again, that back leg can only hit the floor, then when you're in your curtsy, it's up to you. Which one you find more challenging? Lovely, good. Once you've got your balance, once your body knows what it's doing. Lovely, good. Really working that arm now. Three, two, one. Good work. Okay, last time I'm doing this before I move on. Three, two, one. Down, over, up. I can tap it. I can tap it before I get that lift. Lovely, good. Or I can decide to go straight into that curtsy each time. Knee to elbow. Lovely, good. That elbow coming down. Use a little bit on your lats here. That outside of my thigh. Working for me the whole time. Good work. Good work, well done. <clears throat> Lovely, on to my next one, no weights, just my body weight. And I'm going to do a forward and backward lunge. I stay in my lunge position, my hands across my chest. 
I move it forward and back, that knee stays as my constant, so I have to really work my front thigh each time. I'm going to get 50 seconds on one leg, 50 seconds on the other. That's it, good. Just back into that lunge position each time. Don't come up. That work leg, really, front leg really has to work through the front of the thigh to keep in that low crouch position. Lovely, good. Just walk it backwards and forwards, keeping in that crouch. Add three, two, one. Good. Next one, just the other leg. Hands could be over the chest. My shoulders are pulled back down and in. I'm in that low position. Then I walk in and I walk out. But it's just that the whole thing comes forward and backwards, but doesn't come up. This is where the work is in this thigh here. Lovely, good. My own body weight. Backwards and forwards. Core pulled in. My shoulders stay over my hips. My bottom doesn't go out. That's it, good. Stay in that lunge position. Nice and low. You can really feel it now on the front of the thigh of that front leg. That's what's keeping me stable. My zip and hollow is on. My shoulder blades are pulled back down and in, so I know I'm staying up straight. Good work, well done. Three, two, one, and well done, lovely, good. <sighs> Our little aerobic one is next. I could do a skip. Imagine we rope. The rope needs to get underneath your feet. Lovely, good, so now I'm just gonna change. Every 15 seconds, I'm just gonna change it. Okay, we're ready for our first one. It's up, 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 up. That's it, lovely, good. I really feel that you're using backs of those legs. Now my knees up, up at the front, still turning me that rope. Now for my last 15 seconds, I'm going to get down to that squat, jump, jump. If I had a rope, it would be a double jump under. Good, last few seconds now. Now this one's tough, three, two, one. And good work. I'm going to take a little bit of a water break and I'm getting on the floor. Okay, bring that mat back in if you got rid of it. If you need it for those turns. I'm back on that mat again, lying down. My first one, I'm going to be using that five kilogram weight. I roll up, I lift it over my head. Really using my core, and then I do four Russian twists, and then I go back down again. Okay, are we ready to work? Here, make it strong, but sure you get that lift. Lovely, I'm going to roll down first. That roll down, my weight is still here, it hasn't gone over my head. Get me that lift. Now here, in that V sit, four, turns. Now I go down again. Get me up. Get me that lift. Sit back in that V. Really keep that sip and hollow on. Lovely, good. I roll. I come up. Make sure you're nice and strong and straight here. Roll back into that V. Lovely, good. So my back still stays straight. Doesn't get a roll over through my waist. Here, I'm strong. I'm up. I get that lift, lovely, good. Lovely, down, come up. I've got that lift and here I can rest for 10 seconds. Then I'm gonna go roll through that roll down again. Good work. Second minute out of our four. I'm dropping down, drop down. And again, don't let your legs go straight. Give me that lift, drop back into your V, sit. Your V sit can be with your feet on the floor or off the floor, I don't mind. Drop down. It's all about your core here, a little bit of arm strength. Back into your V for your core again. And a little twist on my obliques. Lovely, good. And then I'm going down. Coming back up. 
Get me that lift, first of all. Back down into that V, and four, three, two, one. Then I roll back down again. Coming up, nice and strong. We really sit on those bottom bones. Keep your ribcage down and in. And then four, three, two, one. Lovely, good. I drop down, and I come back up, and I can rest there. Another 10 seconds rest. Halfway through this little four minute of our weighted circuit. Okay, dropping down, coming up on your bottom bones. Give me that lift. Come back into that V. Four, three, two, one. Lovely. Feet go back onto the floor. Roll down, roll back up again. Sit right on those bottom bones to get that lift. Come back into your V. Four, three, two, one. Lovely, good. Roll down. Come back up. Give me that lift. Come back into that V. Four, three, two, one. Back the feet are back on the floor. Drop down. Roll back up. Give me that lift. Back in that V. Four, three, two, one. I roll down. I roll up. I've got that lift. Good. I feel that like must be getting through the same amount each time because I do stop where I've stopped before. Three, two, one. Here we go. The last bit in this round. We sit on those bottom bones. Good. Keep the shoulders pulled down and in. And then do me that turn. And do look at it. Don't just let the arms go. I roll back down again. I come back up. My knees are always bent. Give me that lift. Good. This is the last time you're doing this one. And this session. Lovely. Good. I roll back down. Really keep control of that roll with the zip and hollow on. Sitting back on your hips. Four, three, two, one. Feet back on the floor. Roll down. Roll back up. Give me that lift. Come back. Four, three, two, one. Lovely. Feet on the floor. Roll down. Roll back up again. Three, two, one. Good work. Well done. No. Wait on this next one, just your own body weight. And I'm going to come up, little tabletop here, up to the top, touch your feet, touch your head, then go back down again. Remember your head never hits the floor. Okay, are we ready to go? Hands behind your head, thumbs underneath your cheek bones, just to keep your elbows out. Okay, here, there, touch your feet, touch your head, come back. So it's almost in that tabletop again, just as my hips go back onto the floor. So if you can, get me that long roll right through your erectus abs, those ones coming from your chest, down to the front. Lovely good, the things that give us that strength. Getting up, give me that squeeze, hold that squeeze. Lovely good. Doesn't have to be too fast, just do the touch and the touch. Up. second set of that. So I roll back onto the floor and get those tabletop ready and squeeze forward, touch your feet, touch your head, come down. Lovely, good. So if you feel that the back of your neck is going to ache too much, you just come forward and with one arm, then the other, just touch the outside of your feet there. If you're okay, keep that head forward the whole time. Do not let that head hit the floor. Taking my shoulders and my coccyx off the floor to get me that curl in. Lovely, good. Good work, get that squeeze in. Yeah, last few seconds, three, two, one. Lovely, are we ready for our little aerobic section? while we're down here. If you want to keep your feet free of the mat, I'm going to do a plank jack. So I'm in a plank here and I am just kept jacking my legs in and out, keeping your plank. Now if you really need to, you can come down here, you can put one leg out, then the other leg out, up to you. Keep it nice and fast and if you can, the 
with that full plank, just because it's really working my core as well here. Lovely, good. Good work, well done. Keep that strong. Down to single figures now. I'm feeling it on my pecs. Really feeling it through my core, around my abs now. So it's done the sit ups. Three, two, one, and good work, well done. Band or light weights kick back. So again, this is really going to tell. your triceps. Remember, cat's cradle, there, thumbs, either right back if your knees are okay, or just a little bit back, then it's the out, but again, I am pushing all the time on the outside of that band. Here we go. Lovely, good. Give me that squeeze back, that squeeze back. Now really go for it. Good. That's it, good. Don't hold back, try as hard as you can. You will get 10 seconds rest, remember, but really I'm kicking right back out. I've got my fingers wide, so I can feel that tension on the outside of my shoulders as well. And my thumbs, just come back to my lower back each time. A little bit of work to be done on my thighs as well. Lovely, good. We're about to finish the first section here. Lovely, good. And get me that kick back. Good work. Well done. This is your last one, so really go for it. Another three minutes of triceps. And give me that kick back. Good. Really get used to going as far as you can. Really getting that kick out. Really good to feel it now on my triceps. Good, 30 seconds left on this one out of the 50. Then we're halfway through that tricep. Lovely, good. And get it right kicked out. So again, I have to really lock the elbows. It's not just a case of getting it sort of straight, not like this here. I have to really kick it back each time. Uh, that's why I'm leaning forwards because I want my elbows and my shoulders the same height. We're in single figures, we've got a few more to do. Good, lovely. Three, two, one. Good work. Halfway through that tricep. I know. I can feel it too. Okay, onto those hands. Remember, you can either have light weights or no weights. Lovely, good. If you feel it's enough, but you can get that kick back on both of those arms, get those elbows super straight, then you go for it. That's it, good, get me that kick back. This one really working, the outsides of my shoulders as well. I'm keeping that tension on that band all the time. My thumbs coming back to the same place each time on my lower back, just so I can concentrate on getting that elbow bent, getting that elbow straight. 15 seconds left. And then we've only got our last one on this triceps. Your triceps may ache in the next one or two days. Especially if you've done this right. Four minutes of work. Really lovely good. Bring back two. One. Woo! Are we ready for our last one? Okay. Three, two, one. I can do that kick back. Lovely good. strong now, you've only got 20 seconds left now, 20 seconds, really kick it back, you've done really well, you've come through that three minutes, this is the last few seconds, we are now coming down into single figures, here we go, nine, lovely, lock each time, 
I know, it feels now quite painful to do it. Three, two, one. You are done. Good work. Well done. Okay, on my own body weight. I'm here. I'm going to do a stand up, pushing through that front leg. Okay, so I'm pushing through without leaning, coming up. Lovely, good. And up. So my core is pulled in. I get that lift, pushing through my heel. I can feel that belly button pulled in. Lovely, good. You don't even have to stand on that last bit. It is just a toe tap. Or if you want to just bring that leg in, do. It's all about that front leg. And I haven't got my bottom stuck out when I go down. Remember that simple test of getting out of a chair. That's it, lovely, good. With no aid, no leaning yourself forward, no huffing and puffing. And well done, lovely, good. So I'm going to start on the floor. Just watch out that you're not going to trip over the back of your mat here. So keep it clear of the back of the mat. Then go down, lovely, good. Then push up and go down. You can have that toe backwards if you want to. There. It's just a little bit extra work. Lovely, good. And push up. I'm still keeping that hips underneath me. Lovely, good. So I'm just trying to feel my toes pointed backwards. Try a few. Push. So you can get no push off through those toes. Just requires a little bit of extra help through this front of the leg there. That glute on that front leg. Last few seconds now, I'm in single figures. Three, two, one. And well done, lovely, good. Okay, here we go, I'm gonna do a power jack. Just jumping out, jumping in. Three, two, one. Here we go, power jack and up. Power jack and up. Power jack and up. Squat out wide, narrow. Lovely, good. So you can do any combination. Get out, get in, get low. Good. I'm just doing one narrow, one wide. But you can do wide and wide, or narrow and narrow. Up to you. Whatever works you makes you work harder. Lovely, good. Last few seconds now. Two, one. And good work, well done. Okay, here we are. Stay here for a little stretch out. My first one, I've just come forward. Now we've come off that timer. I'm just leaning forward with my shoulders over my hips. Of that music, and that's it. Good. So, again, just keep on sinking into that with that zip and hollow on. Lovely, good. Now, I'm coming back on that. Push my bottom back. Now, if you don't want to sit right back on this, that's fine. As long as you get your bottom back as far as you can before you start leaning over. Good. I'm going to go to a glute stretch in underneath me, up and down, onto my elbows. You can do this on your back if you feel that your knee crossed underneath you is too much work and your knee doesn't feel comfortable otherwise. I'm dropping my hips out to the side whilst I'm keeping my top half central. So that basically that muscle, those glute muscles have to work Stretch further and further. It feels like a really nice, good stretch out. Lovely, good. As I come up, I'm just going to sit on that hip. And I've got my legs just to like that, following each other. I come onto my outside leg and I get that lift up and over. I've done those twists and turns. Lovely, good. Done them through the Russian twist as well. So getting that lift, getting that stretch. 
Lovely, good, that's going to come down. And now I'm going to come up on the other side. My hand has gone behind me and I get that reach. This feels nice. It's down over my rib cage, down through my hip flexor, down through the front of my thigh. Lovely, good. As I come forward, I'm just going to come back again. And this time, the one goes the other way. I'm just going to lean forward, come and sink down to it. Just keep on sinking with your own body weight. Sinking down. Lovely, good. Just keep on feeling that sink. Right through the hip flexor, down the front of the thigh. Core pulled in though. Shoulders back and down. Lovely, just let your own body weight do that work. Then push back on it for that hamstring stretch. And again, you can sit right back if you're comfortable with that. If not, just pushing the hips back, you leaning forward. Lovely, good. You can be up on that knee and just with your hips push back. Just will drag that leg back with you. Lying on your back to do the glute stretch or stay here with me. Coming forward, crossing that underneath you, going down onto your elbows and then dropping over. So just let that hip drop down whilst you keep your shoulders and your elbows level. Good, so it's just that hip that has to drop further and further out if you're happy with that and your knee's happy. Lovely, good. Then I'm going to drop onto that hip like I did on the other side. I'm reaching for that outside leg and I'm coming up and over and getting that reach. Up through my rib cage, up and out. Then I put that hand behind me. I do my zip and tip so my hips coming up. Then I'm reaching up and over. I'm really feeling that stretch down through my rib cage down through my hip flexor, through my front of thigh. Feels nice and graceful up there, just nice and long. Lovely girls are coming to the middle here. I'm just going to go out with one leg, dropping back on the other one again. If you don't want to drop back, you can push your hips back. If you can, elbows onto the floor. And really feel get that inner thigh stretch. Lovely, good. Coming up, in with both knees, out with one leg, then sitting right back on it if you want to, or staying higher, pushing your hips back. My foot's on the floor, so that inner thigh stretch will be up on the inner thigh, not on the inside of that knee. If you want to extend the stretch ever, up with that toe and push away just a little bit more. But I've gone up to the ceiling with my toe. Lovely good to coming up. Tucking under, into that little bunny hop. Drop your heels down to the floor, head comes forward. You roll up. Give my little roll around on the shoulders and then I'm going to plant that foot into that calf and Achilles stretch here. Rib cage down and in, arm up, you work both triceps, not only in the first one to get the lift up again, but in that four minutes of work with that tricep kick back. So a really good job, but they might feel a little bit stiff in the next one or two days. If you got that lock each time, you worked well. Good work. Okay, standing up, back, drop down to your heel there, core pulled in, give me that lift, and then again I'm just going to drop forward slightly, but it's my whole body dropping forward whilst my heel is in contact with the floor, and then getting that tricep to stretch out. My rib cage is down near, my abs are pulled in, I'm not leaning back. Lovely, good. Feet underneath my hips, my core pulled in, up with my arms and I'm going to lean forward on a long lever so really keep your zip and hollow on. Lovely, good. And then you come down low. Now really get stretched through the palm 
arms through the lower back, down over the backs of your legs, but also between your shoulder blades. Bend the knees and come up. Lovely, good. I'm going to do a little swoosh through now. So just parting my arms down, little swoosh through, come up to there. Big breath in and then on that breath out. Very well done, everybody. I hope you enjoyed it. I enjoyed teaching it to you. That four, two, one, really good combo in that you get all of that work, body weight, so the core's working for you with weights. So we again, all of us have to work with weights and also your aerobic capacity. I'll see you again next time. Okay, bye-bye for now.